Today we're going to see how we can make sure an issue has at least two attachments in JIRA before you're allowed to transition the issue. And we're going to do this using PowerScripts from C Prime. Now I'm going to jump over to my SIL manager in my admin section. And the thing is, I already had a script that, that did just this, so I didn't have to write it. Um, here it is, issue must have attachment.sil. And I'm not the one who originally wrote this one either. Um, so what we have is very simple validator. We've uh, seen this many times. You start with an error message. So you have string error message. And in this instance, it says at least one file must be attached to the issue. And that's the error message that they've used. And then you have an if statement. And it's getting uh, the size of the attachment array. And so in this example, it's saying if the size is zero, return false, meaning trigger the error and display the error message. So if you wanted to make sure they had at least two, you could say is greater or I'm sorry, is less than two um, that would work as well um, but we're not going to change it since it's not my script um, so all we need to do now is apply this to a workflow validator so i'm going to use my task and subtask workflow which i'm going to edit and i'll do on the mark is done transition so we want to make sure everything is in place before we mark it as done and i'm going to get rid of this uh this other validator that was here for another video so we'll say add validator i pick on this workflow a lot and sill validator and we'll reuse an existing script we are down in the workflow validators issue must have attachment finish and publish i'm going to say no so let's create a sample task Again, just some other scripts from other videos. You need to learn to clean those up. Okay, so I can start start progress, but if I go to mark is done and I try to at least one file must be attached to the issue. So it's a lot of there um, it would be better if I had the attachment uh, browse uh, button field right here and I could just fix that problem but that's okay oh, let's, we'll just We'll just find some pictures of my kids. There we go. All right, now when we try Mark is done. You can see that that time that transition worked um, because we left the code. It, it just had to have one um, 
so we didn't want it to equal zero. So there you go. That is how you can add a custom validator that uh, requires at least one or two or three or whatever you set it at attachments to be present on the issue before it's allowed to be closed using PowerScripts from C prime. Thanks for watching.